So let's suppose that a tennis ball is accelerated from 0 meters per second to a velocity of 50 meters per second over a time interval of 4 milliseconds. So assuming the mass of the ball is 45 grams, we want to calculate A, the impulse the ball experiences, and B, the average force the ball experiences during our collision. So our collision between the tennis ball and the tennis racket takes place and the ball experiences a change in impulse or an impulse. And an impulse is simply change in momentum. And the change in momentum is given by taking the mass and multiplying by the change in velocity. So our change in velocity is simply 15 meters per second minus 0 meters per second and multiply that by the mass in kilograms, so 0 0.045 kilograms, and we get the following impulse. So the tennis racket imparts an impulse of 2.25 kilograms times meters divided by seconds on the object. And that's exactly why the object experiences a change in velocity. Now, using this value, we can calculate the average force that the ball experiences. Now, before the collision takes place and after our collision takes place, there is no physical force acting on the object because they're not physically touching. So that means the actual force before collision and after collision is zero. But the actual force during our collision is non-constant. It varies via the following curve. So it be uh, begins at zero, goes up to a maximum value, and goes back down to zero. Now we want to find the average force the ball experiences such that if I take the area, if I find the area underneath this force that represents the average force, that area given in blue will be exactly identical to this area. And recall that the impulse is the area underneath the force curve. So that means that the impulse is equal to this area, which is equal to this area. And because this is a rectangle, we simply take the change in time and multiply by the average force. So this distance, this vertical distance, is the average force. Now, we know what the change in time is. Our collision takes place during an interval of 0.004 seconds or 4 milliseconds. So we plug that in into the change in time. We know the impulse that the ball experiences. That's 2.25 kilograms times meters divided by seconds. So I divide that value and I get approximately 563 or 562.5 newtons. So this is the average force our object experiences during our collision. Now note, this is not a constant force. In other words, the actual force the tennis ball and the racket experience is not a constant force. It varies. At any given point, it's given by the following curve. What we actually found is the average force, which is a constant value.